Babu, hi. Kamustika, welcome. How are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. What motivates me to love my Filipina wife? You've heard me say many times that I love my wife, but sometimes that's in passing and I don't really explain why. You know, we got married very quickly. Why do I love this little woman when we married so fast? Subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea for videos related to the whole process of not giving up on love and finding a wife in the Philippines. Get notifications for upcoming videos by tapping the wedding bell, I mean the bell, and uh, click the word add to complete that process. And of course, most definitely, leave your comments. I hope this video makes you aware of why you love your Filipino wife, or at least what a good woman can offer. I'm going to approach this topic from the standpoint of my motivation to love her, rather than the reasons I love her. And there is a difference. She may have excellent qualities that have been affirmed or surfaced after marriage, such as her faith, her selflessness, her strength of character, her beauty, brains, and talents. There's also the fact that she has come from across the world to live with me here in America, leaving so much behind. As attractive as those qualities are, they don't guarantee I would ever ask her to marry me, so why did I? Why did I generally marry someone? I think the motivation can be distilled into three aspects. One would be well, I needed somebody to love. My road to success with a Filipina is documented throughout these many videos, and especially one I will link for you called um, How I Found My Wife on Christian Filipina. It's in the comments. I wasn't content to live out the rest of my days at 53 years of age at that time by just giving up trying to find a wife. I just hadn't considered trying in another country. And this wasn't something that I wanted. It was something I needed to do. I really wanted someone to love. But I also knew that attitude hadn't resulted in success to that point. Now, we got married very quickly, less than eight weeks. But this time, there was someone out there in this big, big world who wanted to marry me. It wasn't because I didn't have anything to offer. This little woman in the Philippines decided she wanted what I could offer her. I thought she had character, so I proposed, and we got married in 54 days. And that was May of 2015, and I've been doing my best to love her ever since. I am motivated because I now have someone to love, and since giving results in even more receiving, I am always motivated to love her, and it makes me happy to be good to her. Anyway, I needed somebody's love second motivation for me to love her. I needed somebody's love. And she was willing to give it to me. I also needed a wife, and since I you know, do have a loving, caring wife, looking for a wife overseas paid off. So go where you're wanted. If it's not where you are, you may be able to find somebody in another country. And the third reason here God loved me. I am motivated to love my wife, even though I knew there would be the usual clashes and squabbles relationships have that we are you know, going to have to learn from. All I need to do is remind myself of the type of ridiculous patience God shows me and the umpteen chances I get at redemption. And I can love my Filipino wife. If God can love me, I must love Isa. It's that simple. Both of us can be very unlovable at times, but learning how to be patient with each other, which is just one of the joys of having found love beyond the sea.